So while the first couple of center of mass problems that we did involved finding the center of mass of a one-dimensional object, the region given here is two-dimensional. So we have to use this set of equations over here. Notice that we're given a constant density as well. Let's draw out the region. Okay, here it is. And as far as these formulas on the right are concerned, you'll notice right away that the lower function right here, which is g of x, is just zero. So we can immediately get rid of all these g of x's. The upper function is up here, and that's going to be f of x. If you want a bit of a review of equations of lines, you can go to some of my previous videos. But in short, you'll notice that this line has a slope of negative b over a, and it has a y-intercept of 0b. So its equation looks like that. One more thing to notice before we start doing these integrals is that this mass in these two moments have this constant density as a factor. And when we're finding the x and y coordinates of our center of mass, we're dividing one of the moments by that mass. So you can see that when we do that division problem, all of these densities are just going to cancel out. So we may as well forget about them now. In other words, what we can do is we can assume that that density is 1, and that won't impact the problem. Okay, let's do our mass integral first. We're going to integrate f of x between the x values of 0 and a. We're integrating with respect to x, so what we're going to get is this right here, and we can plug in our upper and lower limits on x. We're just going to get two non-zero terms. You'll notice in this first term, we have an a squared in the numerator and an a in the denominator. That's going to leave us with the negative a times b over 2, and the second term is just a times b. Combining those fractions just gives us 1 half half a b as our mass. So we can box that up for a second. Now I'm going to copy down the formula for our first moment and let's do that calculation. We're integrating from the x value of 0 to the x value of a just like last time. And since we have to square this function we're going to get ourselves a bit of a mess. But what we need to do is just FOIL or distribute out that binomial. Distributing that out and now combining our like terms is going to give us the following and integrating with respect to x and plugging in the upper and lower limits of integration is going to give us canceling the a's in each term then leaves us noticing that the last two terms cancel each other out we finally get a result for our first moment okay let's box that thing up and we have one more calculation to do we need to find m sub y and I'll rewrite the formula for that we're taking that line that we found at the beginning of the problem that f of x and multiplying it by x and we're integrating with respect to x to do that I would first distribute the x through the parentheses and now we can integrate using the power rule on all these steps just make sure you keep in mind that b and a are both constants we can plug our upper limit of x equals a into the function notice that the lower limit of x equals 0 is just going to make both of the terms 0. And in this first term, you will notice that we can cancel an a from the denominator with 1a from the numerator. Negative 1 third plus 1 half is 1 sixth. And maybe it's OCD, but I like to put my terms in alphabetical order. So that was a whole lot of math. I'm going to zoom out just a little bit here and do a quick summary of the values that we've found so far. It looks like we found that our mass was 1 half AB, our M sub X is 1 sixth AB squared, and our M sub Y is 1 sixth A squared B. Now recalling from the very beginning of the problem that the X value of our center of mass is just M sub Y over M, doing just a little bit of calculation gives us 1 third A for our X coordinate, and for our Y coordinate, I'm getting 1 third B, which is actually pretty interesting. Thing. It's going to be the final answer. I don't know if I could zoom out on this whole thing, but maybe what I'll do is just go to the top of the problem, scroll down slowly, and you can hit pause on your browser wherever you need to to take another look at the math. 